Hey guys, so this is try number one at a video with my camera. Let me zoom y'all out a little bit. Okay, um, I have seen everybody wondering about these magical spinning brush cleaners. So I got one, um, I got it to test out. Comes with this little bowl. And all I put in it was water and this just like regular cleaner from Ulta. Super cheap, nothing fancy. I just took the top off, poured a teeny bit. I just kind of eyed it to get it in there. And then it comes with all these sleeves. I don't know what kind of brush goes in here, but apparently there are brushes this big and it goes all the way down to teeny tiny little pencil brushes. So basically all you do give you a quick rundown and then I'm going to show you how this works. You get the actual device with an on and off switch. Then you stick this little spindle into it. And then this square end here goes into this square hole here. And you stick it in there. Let me grab a brush just to show you how it looks. I have already cleaned this brush with it. Um, it. It didn't get it all the way clean. Don't hear me say this is 100%. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion after I've showed it to you, but it did help. So you turn it on and it flattens out your brush. And this is the coolest thing ever. Now when you turn it off, you just fluff it back out. So that's how this works. So let's get a little demo going. Okay, so here's how this works. Um, we have these brushes. You can see they're all supposed to be white on the ends and they're dirty. So I'm gonna use these and show you how to use this contraption. It comes with all these different sleeves and you use them based on what size brush you have. So for this one, I'm gonna use this. Well, I'm gonna use one smaller. That way it fits in there really snug and then you just click it onto here. So you put it down in the water when you turn it on and count to 10, and then lift it up a little bit and count to 10 again. So here we go. You can see the cleaning solutions kind of foaming up. I just use regular brush cleaner. And then you just lift it up. And turn it off. You fluff it back up. You can see it's a lot water. Um, sometimes it takes about three or four tries to get a brush super clean, which is okay with me. It's still a lot quicker than doing it by hand. Now I'm gonna try this brush. I use it for my powder foundation, so it's pretty dirty. And I'm gonna use this bigger sleeve. Stick it in here and go. And that one didn't get completely dry because so didn't have it up enough. But it's a lot cleaner. And then I'm gonna use this brush that I showed y'all in my last video and try to clean it. It's just super fluffy. It's got a little bit of blush on it. And since it is a longer brush, it's gonna be harder to get it all the way down in there. And then just lift it up. As you can see, it looks like this, but you just have to fluff it out and it goes back to normal. And that's how you use it. Okay guys, so I want your honest opinion on what you think. Here's how clean the brushes came out once I was done. And it's not perfect by any means. Um, I tested a few yesterday, including this one. It is an off-white color. It's not supposed to be completely white. So for it to be a little off is fine. Um, that little pink tint, this was after about three tries. I've seen a lot of people say that they don't like this. Um, in my honest opinion, 
I'm the world's worst about not cleaning my brushes. So for me, this is a godsend. It's a lot quicker. Even if I have to do it three or four times, it's still gonna get done a lot faster than I would do it by hand because if I'm doing it by hand, it's gonna take me a long time to even sit down and do it. And I go through so many brushes just because I have so many dirty ones, I use a ton of different ones. So I think for me, this is gonna be a win. Um, it's not perfect if you wanna sit down and clean your brushes meticulously, by all means, have at it. That's just not for me. Uh, let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to subscribe down below, or uh, I think my little picture is this way, maybe that way in the corner. Uh, subscribe, uh, turn on the notifications so you can know when I post. I try to post at least two to three times a week, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more, just depends. And uh, let me know if there's anything you want to see. I'm pretty good at getting my hands on all these random beauty products. So if you would like to see more of these tested, if you want to see tutorials, if you want to see unboxings, if you even want me to try out a subscription you're curious about, just comment below and I'll see what I can do. Thanks.